Now, see here in this question, you have to find the current I 1. So, see here this is the circuit here 20 ohm resistance and then the battery of 40 volt, 40 ohm resistance, 80 volt battery cell and that is our 20 ohm resistance. So, we have calculate I 1. So, I 3 is coming from here from the 40 volt and going I 1 this side and I 2 this side. So, in this case we have to use actually Kirchhoff's law to calculate the current I 1. So, if the direction of the current is not given then also you can assume the direction of current and you can take the distribution according to the junction rule and then you can apply the voltage rule or the loop rule. So, here to calculate I 1 I am going to use here Kirchhoff's law. First one we can take the loop in loop A B F E A that is a clockwise from A to B when we will go we can write minus 20 I 1 because higher potential to low potential in the direction of current that means B to F there is no any element. So, F to E we can write there is a battery here the cell of 40 volt. So, we are going from low to higher. So, we can write plus 40 and then minus 40 I 3 is equal to 0. Then we can write here by solving this we can get 20 I 1 plus 40 I 3 is equal to 40 here and we can write I 1 plus twice of I 3 is equal to 2. I 3 is equal to we can write I 1 plus I 2 by using the junction rule. So, we can write I 1 plus twice of I 1 plus I 2 is equal to 2 that is thrice of I 1 plus twice of I 2 is equal to 2 this is the first equation we have obtained. So, from the loop 1 A B F E A we have obtained this relation. Now, we can get we can take the another loop that is suppose E F C D E that is also the clockwise. So, in this case when we take the loop we can solve it again. Now, the first equation I am writing here thrice of I 1 plus twice of I 2 is equal to 2 this is the first one and now I am going to the loop here E F C D E that is also clockwise. When we go E to F we can write 40 I 3 minus 40 C to D we can write here plus 20 I 2 and minus 80 is equal to 0 we can write here 40 I 3 minus sorry plus 20 I 2 is equal to 120 and here we can write twice of I 3 plus I 2 is equal to 6 and then we can put the value of I 3 equal to I 1 plus I 2. So, we can write twice of I 2 plus twice of I 1 plus I 2 is equal to 6 that is twice of I 1 plus thrice of I 2 is equal to 6. So, these are the two equations we have obtained. So, first one this, second one this. Now, we'll, we will solve these two equations to get the value of I 1. So, now we can solve these two equations here. So, we will multiply, we have to actually calculate here I 1. So, let, so first we can cancel out I 2. So, this one we have to make equal. So, we multiply this the first equation by 3, second equation by 2. So, we can write here 9 I 1 plus 6 I 2 is equal to 6. We have multiplied 3 in equation 1 and in equation 2 we can multiply 2. So, that is 4 I 1 and plus 6 I 2 is equal to 12. Now, we can solve it minus 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 we are subtracting it this will get cancelled. We can get here 5 I 1 is equal to minus 6. So, I 1 is equal to minus 6 upon 5 ampere. So, this is the application of Kirchhoff's law to calculate current in the given circuit.